All right, folks, we're back at it again. Five minutes to get through all the best green cards in the new set, March of the Machines. Let's do it. All right, you guys know the drill. Five minutes on the clock. Let's get into it. So first card is Atraxa's Fall. Two mana, destroy artifact, battle, enchantment, or creature with flying. At this point, it's got so many things on it. I think it's standard playable. I think it's going to be good enough. We're going to see battles in this next set, so definitely there's that. Enchantments are everywhere, artifacts, and of course Atraxa is flying, and that's played a lot, so I think this is a keeper. All right, next one, Cosmic Hunger. It's a bite type spell. It'll definitely be good in limited. Maybe sees play in standard if battles are everywhere, because this one hits creatures, planeswalkers, or battles. So we'll have to see on this one. All right, Deep Root Wayfinder, two mana, two, three. So pretty good stats, and when it makes uh when it does combat damage to a player, you surveil one, and then you may return a land from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. So uh, if you have some sort of self mill synergy, you're gonna easily get those lands in your graveyard, and then you get to ramp off this card every time you deal combat damage. Seems very sweet, works very well with what Green is trying to do in this new set, and I can't wait to see people trying out some things with the whole Green self mill ramp type synergies so pretty cool stuff all right invasion of chandelar five mana so a little bit expensive but you get back three permanents from your graveyard which is pretty sweet and then the back side says as long as it's uh, sorry at the beginning of your upkeep put a permanent from your hand onto the battlefield so one of those permanents you got back you get to put on the battlefield for free and you can do this with anything so atraxa anyone all right, next one, Invasion of Zendikar. So four mana, kind of like your typical uh, like circuitous route kind of thing. Get two lands, put them on the battlefield tapped. And then the backside is a 4-4 four, four with Vigilance and Haste. And it also is a land and it can tap for mana. So you can swing in and still tap it for mana. So pretty cool, ramping into ramping. <laughs> All right, and then Kami of Whispered Hopes. Three mana for a 1-1, one, one. and it's basically got the hardened scale type effect. Whenever a counter is put on a creature, you put another one, and then you can tap this for X mana, which it's the creature's power. So if you get to put any counters on this, you're going to get pretty good ramp off of this creature. All right, next one, Ozolith. It's a very similar effect. Whenever you put a plus one, plus one counter, you put another one, and this one can also put the counter for two and a tap. And it's legendary, so if you draw too many, you can cycle it away because it has cycling. All right, next one is Pelucranos Reborn, three mana for four or five with reach, but you can activate its ability for six, and it turns into kind of a green-white worm coil engine. Uh, a little bit worse because it's just lifelink and not death touch, but you still get a bunch of bodies when it dies, so it's not bad. All right, Portent Tracker. This is basically a two mana mana dork. But it also has some interaction with battles. You can either remove counters from the enemy's battles, or I guess remove counters from your battles, or put a counter on the enemy's battles so that you can not let them flip it. So pretty cool. We didn't don't have any other cards that do stuff like this, so it's very interesting. Next one is Tribute to the World Tree. This is the typical three mana enchantment that draws you cards when you play creatures. But this one is actually much more powerful than what we've seen before. This, uh, normally it says four power or greater. This one is three power or greater draws you a card. And uh, if you don't play a three power or greater, you put two counters on it. So it becomes a big creature anyway. Uh, this might be single-handedly the card that makes mono green viable because this is going to draw you a bunch of cards. It's going to make your cards really big. This seems very good. All right, next one, Vorinclex, five mana, six, six, trample reach. Not bad body, not bad stats. It also gets you two force cards. So if you're trying to ramp into something, this would definitely be a good card for that. And it does have this activated ability, which is pretty expensive. Gets you some value, puts some creatures on the battlefield, but uh, probably not that likely to happen. So we're not going to look at that one too much. All right. Ren and the Realm Breaker is a cool planeswalker in the set. Three mana. You plus one, you get a land turned into a 3-3 elemental with Vigilance and Hexproof, so it can't be killed. Uh, and it's Vigilance, so you can still tap it for land. And then you can also minus two to get cards back from your graveyard and self-mill. 
and then minus seven lets you cast stuff from your graveyard. So very powerful Planeswalker. We'll have to see how good it is, but it seems very strong. Next one. Oh, no, that is it. So we are done with the green cards. Uh, we made it in time in the five minutes. Uh, what do you think? I think green is a little bit weaker than the other ones, but that one enchantment could make it good enough. We'll have to see. And there is the plus one, plus one counter synergy, which is also very cool. But that does it for our color reviews of the new cards. We're going to have the top five new cards in coming up soon. Next week will be the top five new brews for mom. And then we're going to have the early access event coming up right after that. So be ready for that. I'll share more details when I find out more. So I'll let you know. All right. Till next time. See ya.